are what should be all over this tree. It's too hot, it's too rainy. We just like to complain, I think. It's rare that I sit down and have a serious chat with you all on my vlog. Good afternoon, everybody. We're just trying to find parking at the lavender farm here in Wexford. I tweeted about it this morning and everybody was so excited that I was going to a lavender farm today. And I have to say, I'm pretty excited. We just drove up the driveway to it and the fields are full with lavender plants. And of course, I'm obsessed with it because bees love it. So I'm hoping to get a nice lavender plant today that will kind of attract some bees to our garden. So you know, we're taking our time getting our own one sorted. Guys, look how beautiful this is. So much lavender. So much lavender at the lavender farm. Who would have guessed it? The place is just so packed with life everywhere, all around you. Bugs, insects, bees. It's incredible. We're embarking on a magical fairy walk. <laughs> Welcome to our magical fairy walk. Fairies are very shy. That is so ideal for children and Sinead, of course. But fairy walks are so cute. They're gonna have like little houses in the trees and everything. I'm really excited. I'm so hawk-eyed looking for these fairy doors. And I can't find any. Well, I only managed to spot one fairy door on the fairy walk. I think I'm gonna have to bring some children with me the next time because they will point them out to me. I'm clearly too inobservant. They've got a gorgeous little cafe kind of artisan shop area here. And if we hadn't had lunch before we came out, we definitely would have got something. But everybody around us is kind of having their lunch, having a really good time out in the sun. This weather is absolutely perfect for sitting out and just having a little meal for lunch time. I did get a little ice cream, of course, chocolate chip. But we are trying to figure out what they're doing with the lavender that you can see just hanging on on the roof here. We have no idea what they're doing with it. It doesn't say. We're wondering if they're bagging it up for selling or if they're drying it out to make oil from it. I might have to ask somebody before I go because I am very, very curious. They also have lavender plants for sale just behind me on a table. And I did come here with the intention of buying a plant, but given the weather that we're having, I'm afraid I'm gonna buy it, bring it home, and it's gonna die on me within a week with the heat, even with watering it. So I think I might hold off on that one just until this major, major heat wave is over. There's nothing worse than bringing a plant home and having it die. That's why I don't like receiving flowers as gifts. If I get flowers, they're usually in a pot, like my sunflower. Before we leave, I'm dying to go in and have a proper little dig around the shop. Everything in there is really crafty and handmade, right up my street. I'm gonna see if there's anything nice that I can take home that won't die in the garden. Mom came in and offered me a scone. She's like, you can have a scone if you want. I was like, no, I'm gonna go home and bake my own. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the smell in here is absolutely amazing. This most beautiful little cafe gift shop. I'm absolutely obsessed. This is what my future house is gonna look like, everybody. <laughs> of course, I've come in and been absolutely ridiculously drawn to all the baking things and all the cooking and eating things. I'm looking at the jams and the chutneys, all homemade and thinking, oh my God, this is my next venture, without a doubt. I'm very, very intrigued. The sun has gone away for the first time in a month. There's actually a gray sky up there. We might get some rain. Maybe my plants will survive. I want to show you my mother's sneaky little ways. She must have saw me looking at the little artisan produit. And she got these. Let me just whip them out of the bag and show you what we got. She got three little dipping sauces. So we've got cheeky chili and ginger. It's kind of a salad dressing. Next one is Wicked Raspberry. Delicious with chicken pate, cream cheese, stilton and nuts. Gorgeous. And the last one is Sweet Chili Dipping Sauce. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys. I have my butter in the fridge to chill because you can't make scones with warm butter. Ugh. I want to show you why I'm not overly disappointed by this gray sky that we're having at the moment. This is the reason. So at our house, we've got kind of a tiny little orchard. So if this is my plum tree, this is my apple tree, and at the back here, we've got a pear tree. However, while the apple tree is doing okay, we've got some baby apples, my plum tree is absolutely devastated. The plums are not growing. Usually this whole tree would be absolutely saturated with small plums. In fact, I can't even see one now. Let me see if I can find one. I found somebody hiding over here. There we go. So those are what should be all over this tree. But with the hot weather that we've been having, every single one that we did have is falling off or didn't even get a chance to grow, which is absolutely devastating for me because I wanted to use them to make plum jam. 
So it's very much a thing of, you can't get it right in this country. It's too hot, it's too rainy. We just like to complain, I think. And the last bit of gardening I will talk about today is some updates on my little vegetable patch. So it's going very, very well. Everything so far seems to be growing except my lettuces. I have spinach and I have radishes doing really well. However, we have a little infestation of some slugs. So they're kind of already attacking my leaves. So I need to actually head to the shop this afternoon and grab myself some slug repellent. I want to be as organic as possible, so I was even thinking about making myself some homemade slug repellent and kind of researching that a little bit. But look at the size of these guys, they're absolutely incredible. That is a little over 10 days of growth. But I'm definitely not discouraged. I think that's part of learning about growing your own, learning about vegetable patches in general. Things like to eat vegetables, humans like to eat vegetables, rabbits like to eat vegetables, slugs and bugs like to eat vegetables. So it's just a case now of learning how I can prevent that in the most organic and natural way possible. If anybody has any tips for natural insecticides, also leave those down below, please. I always ask you guys so many questions in my comment boxes, but actually, you're all brilliant and you always give me some solutions, so thanks for that. All right guys, just in case anybody thinks that bacon is a tidy endeavor, that is the state of my kitchen. <laughs> but I think personally, while it drives my mother mad, I think this is part of the fun of bacon, is getting your hands all floury and getting stuck in there. But to anybody who's afraid to get messy, just get stuck in and do it, and I promise you, you'll have the best fun ever. Now I need to get these babies into the oven. Yay, they're done. And they look epic. I literally just ate my entire body weight in scones. I regret none of it. But in all seriousness, it's rare that I sit down and have a serious chat with you all on my vlog. I save that for other videos, but I did want to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers, new and old, who have managed to get me to 500 subscribers. I know that doesn't sound like a lot to most of you, probably, but to me, that is a goal that I never thought I would achieve when I started my channel, when I started YouTube. I suppose what I have learned in the last five months of YouTube has been persistence and motivation and this desire to keep going, to achieve something, not only for yourself, but for other people. And the fact that other people enjoy watching my videos, that I get to interact with you specifically on a weekly, if not daily basis, fills me with such joy and I know that sounds so cliche to say and I say it all the time you're probably sick hearing me say it but genuinely I am grateful for you watching this video I am grateful for the fact that you took time out of your day to leave me a comment or hit thumbs up or whatever it may be and honestly starting YouTube and starting this journey is without a doubt the best decision that I have ever made in my life hands down and just know that I am working to create content that not only makes me really happy but makes you happy as well. And that is what is keeping me going throughout this whole process. But for now, the hair is up and I am done for the day. If you like this video guys, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.